I wanted to take a moment and share with you another one of my favorite books called Math for All Seasons. And this is Mind Stretching Math Riddles. These are pretty easy, but I really like the graphics and pictures when I show you in just a moment. Um, and I would use them with, honestly, any grade from kindergarten, I would even go up to eighth grade. So, um, and really even high schoolers would probably like some of these, even though they're a little bit easy. Everyone loves to be read too, that's the takeaway. Okay, let me read you one of my favorites. Hot tips. My ice cream's melting in the sun. It makes a mess before I'm done. On my clothes are many drips. Drat these cones with broken tips. Can you count up all the scoops? Try to first make clever groups. Instead of counting row by row, simply add the cone below. So what I like about this riddle is that we're really asking students to potentially skip count, to potentially multiply, counting different unique ways of counting. I like this. Um, it's kind of stretching their brain a little bit. It's ice cream. Who doesn't love ice cream? Um, and a dripping cone. Has everyone experienced a dripping cone? So all of these things, again, are things that I'm pulling students into math. They're getting more interested in math. So again, that's called Math for All Seasons. Um, let me just show you another one here. They have lots for holidays too, which is kind of fun. Here's one for Halloween called Scary Squash. Ghouls and goblins, ghosts and bats, tricks and treats and witches hats, scary creatures in the night, jack-o'-lanterns glowing bright. Can you count each smiling face? This may help you just in case. Add the pumpkins every one. Subtract the plain ones and be done. Again, I could see this being really fun in kindergarten through third grade especially, but again, I wouldn't hesitate to use this with older grades. They've got ones in here um, representing winter, uh, Thanksgiving with a turkey, New Year's, really cool. They've even got ones on spring. Raining cats and frogs. They say it's raining cats and dogs. Why not lizards, snakes, and frogs? Next time the weather's getting wet, forget the forecast, call a vet. Can you count the dots you see? Try to add them cleverly. Group them in a special way. Make sums of 10 this rainy day. This would be a great poem on the fly. It's raining, you're on rainy day schedule. Ugh, this is awful. Pull out one of your math riddles.